Welcome to InfraCircle, your one-stop platform for everything infrastructure in this country. Let me also take this opportunity to introduce to you India at 70 series, which is a year-long coverage of critical infrastructure sectors of the country, narrated over their development over the last 70 years. One of the sectors that we are looking at here today is electricity. The LXP store in India cannot be narrated without the help of NTPC. NTPC, apart from being a state run firm and India's largest power generation utility, has also played a stellar role in providing electricity access to India's citizens. NTPC's role assumes much more prominence today, given the fact that 280 million people today do not have access to electricity. Also, it is playing a very prominent role in helping India meet its clean energy commitments. NTPC's journey has not been a very easy journey over a period of time. Uh, this comes from a fact that when NTPC was being set up, not many uh, firms which are already in the business were willing to share know-how, design and technology with a, this homegrown firm. Uh, it gives me immense pleasure to narrate the NTPC story to you. NTPC Limited, India's largest power utility. The state-run power utility was first incorporated on 7 November 1975 with D.V. Kapoor taking over as the first chairman and managing director on 19 March 1976. Construction of the first transmission network at Singroli Korba Kanpur with a capacity of 400 kV started in 1979. The authorized share capital of the company more than doubled from Rs 125 crore to Rs 300 crore in 1979. The first 200 megawatt unit at Singroli was commissioned along with the first direct foreign currency borrowing for NTPC. A consortium of foreign banks led by Standard Chartered Merchant Bank extended a loan of £298.41 million for the Rihan project in 1982. 1982 was the first year of the state utilities commercial operations wherein it earned a profit of Rs 4.51 crore. In 1995, NTPC celebrated its 20th anniversary along with adopting a new logo. In this year, the firm took over the 460 megawatt Talche thermal power station from Orissa State Electricity Port. 1997 was the resounding year for the PSU wherein it achieved 100 billion unit generation in a single year. NTPC in 1998 commissioned its first naphtha based plant at Kayunkulam with a capacity of 350 megawatt. In year 2000, the firm started construction of its first hydroelectric power project of 800 megawatt capacity in Himachal Pradesh. Year 2002 witnessed three wholly owned subsidiary of NTPC being incorporated. NTPC Electric Supply Company Limited, NTPC Hydro Limited, NTPC Vidyut Vepar Nigam Limited. NTPC for the first time became a listed company in year 2004. Year 2005 saw the company adopt NTPC Limited as its official name. However, challenges remain for the utility. Its plans are aging and funding for coal-based generation is becoming scarce. Also, though it has augmented its generation capacity, state electricity boards are in bad shape and there is very low demand from their end. NTPC remains to be the country's major contributor of power with plans to become a 128,000 megawatt company up to 2032, NTPC still has a lot to achieve.